Baby, just a few days away. You don't have to spend a fortune gearing up for the big game at those specialty stores. Mm -hmm. You can do it all yourself. We have Lynn Lily here from Craft Box Girls. Hi, how Hi, are you? Good. How are you? I love your setup and I Thank love the you. fact that you did it yourself. Yes, so this is all DIY and all inexpensive things that you can do that will be a touchdown with your guests. Yeah, because everything really stands out, really cute, and you made all of this. Absolutely, so yourself. let's talk about okay, some of yes. these How'd DIY decoration ideas. So this is actually a wine bottle oh. that we spray painted. I took some sticks, spray painted them with some glitter and white paint, and glued footballs onto them. So Very this becomes cute. a nice cute table accent. Also, dressing up your popcorn, taking the brown paper bags that you use for your kids' lunch, doing a cutout that says popcorn on it. It adds just a little bit of creativity to your setup. Very cute. Also, creating a banner. We took football cutouts, strung them on a piece of kitchen string that we had in our cupboard. And dress up your cocktails. Whether you're drinking a traditional bourbon and coke on game day or a fall cocktail, add a paper straw and a straw flag. These are all things that you can make with scrapbook paper that you can find at your local craft store. So how are you making all these little letters? So I have a machine that cuts them out and then okay. I cut some by hand. Okay. So we've got actually all the stencils on craftboxgirls.com oh, okay. so that you can print them out and you can trace them and cut them out. Okay, perfect. So I was a little confused yes, with that one. Absolutely. So Very we know cute. pictures are some of our favorite things to do at a tailgate. Yes. So make some photos props for your guests to use. Ooh. They can take some Instagram selfies with some cute photo these. I have to props. Take one out. Right? How cute like is that. that? Cheese. Come up with a hashtag for your tailgate and tell them to use the hashtag so you can see all the pictures together. Oh, at the end of the party. Yep. Isn't that great? I love it. All right, let's talk about some easy snacks. Okay. So we took Pringles, dipped them in chocolate, let them harden for about 30 minutes, used some white icing to do some lace on them. I have to hold these up because I don't think you're I mean, Look how cute how they are. How delicious are those? And Who they look very, chips very dipped yummy. in chocolate. This is my ultimate favorite dip. This is a cream cheese with peanut butter butter and then chocolate chips mixed in and coated on the outside and then you use pretzels to dip because it gives you that salty sweet combination Ooh, and it looks so good it's so good it's easy you can make it in minutes and we've got it on craftboxgirls.com very cute dress up your cupcakes these are actually store-bought cupcakes we created toothpicks and made footballs and little goals. And you just put it on, on top. On toothpicks, yep. So all of this stuff is pretty easy, right? Very easy, very inexpensive, and then we're actually going to make a craft today. Oh, okay. What so are we going to make? we are going to make a coaster. A coaster. So using an inexpensive tile that you can purchase at your local hardware store, these are 16 cents. Okay. You're going to actually take this foam brush. Okay. This is Mod Podge that you buy at your local craft store, and I want you to just coat it on there. On the whole thing? Yep. Mod Give it one Podge. even layer. So I was wondering, about, what is Mod Podge? What so it's a type it? of clear glue. So it dries okay. glue. It's a sealant. It's waterproof. Oh, and I it's use it for dummy proof, obviously. For absolutely. You're trusting me to actually do a craft. Absolutely. So okay. once you've got a coat on, okay, you're going to go ahead and take. If you want to use scrapbook paper, we've got these borders that oh. are used for scrapbooking. And then we cut out a goal. Stuck a goal on there. You just want to make Did sure. Did I put enough hodgepodge? Yep, you'll see okay. what we're going to do. And then we're going to okay. add a football. Okay. Then you're going to come back with your Mod Podge oh. and do another layer or two. Oh. And you let it dry for about five minutes in between layers. Okay, wait, go ahead. We'll, well, for the magic of television. We'll, there you go. So right just ahead. one quick layer. Let and it, it dries dry. clear, you said? Yep. And then we use these clear dots that you can buy at your local hardware store okay. as stoppers and put them on the bottom in each corner. They're sticky, self adhesive. This is so, so it's an inexpensive cute. craft. It adds to the decor of your tailgate. And we do have all these instructions on craftboxgirls.com. And you can follow us on Instagram for fun tips at Craftbox Okay, let me ask you, people who come to your party. Yes. <laughs> do they not feel totally inferior because then they host their own party well, and it's know, never as cute you know as your what, party? Do you know what really happens? I get drug in to help host uh, other parties. So they're always like, hey, can I bribe you with some food right. or wine? And usually the wine gets me. Oh, I, yes. So I'm usually helping with a lot of my friends' parties. I love to do it. Right. So it's fun. And, you know, creating all these decor brings brings people together. So it's all about celebrating with one another. Have you always been crafty? I have. So I grew so you're, you're born with this I gift. grew up watching Martha Stewart and begging my mom to let me set the tables and, and make centerpieces. While other kids were out playing, I was watching Martha Stewart. So what's one of the coolest things you've done? Oh my gosh. That you've made? So probably one of my favorite things is I did a tray with all different pictures. So pictures of my family and my dogs. Oh. Same thing using this Mod Podge. It's okay. a piece that I can remember every time I go to the coffee table to set something down. That's a memory piece. We've done all kinds of home decor and home makeovers at home. Those are the not so pretty ones, right? right. But 
Party planning is probably one of my favorite things to I do, just because you get to see the joy of people when they come to your party and how excited they are, and, and they love the added decor. To the and fun. you get to eat all of the food. Absolutely. So out of all of these dishes, what's your favorite? I would have to say that this dip is my favorite, okay. especially because you get the sweet and salty. But I'm not going to lie, this cocktail is a taste of what's fall. What's in the cocktail? So you've got bourbon, fresh ginger, Ooh. fresh lemon juice, and then... Um, you are using apple cider in it, and you can use the store-bought apple cider. You don't have to make your own. And then throwing some slices of apple in there. You want to try it? Yes. It's quite good. I do. It is a taste of fall I in a jar. It. As I try it, I want everyone to know. For more great do-it-yourself <laughs> ideas, just log on to craftboxgirls.com to find all the information of these super cool crafts. And that way you can host your own tailgate party at home.